Hey everybody, welcome to the build video here. This is for the new Synth ZT 2021. It's a redesign of my Synth from last year, the 2020. And here it is. Uh. Alright, so I'm going to show a few pictures from the build here. And so here's the original synth. And it's gone! This is the old synth broken down. Buttons, knobs, and joystick into the new enclosure. Mounting the Pi in the Arduino. Beginning the wiring. Temporary screen. More wiring. More wiring. Uh, starting the design. Finally, my buddy Phil designed and printed this awesome enclosure for the screen.
this is how things work. Hopefully you can see what's going on. Um, I've already loaded one of my kits. So basically you've got the uh, white and black keys here are full octave. Right now they're going to be playing drum hits because I have a kit loaded. But uh, you can also go up and down the octaves. I have a, this one completely loaded from top to the bottom. I use this weird little 8-bit one here. So basically um, if you're familiar with trackers this isn't going to be anything new. but I'm going to edit the pattern here. I'll just make a straight 4 to the 4 beat. Um, so uh, right here I've got step. I can uh, change the step. I'm going to change it to 4 so this, this gives you the straight 4 to 4, four, four beat. Um, throw a hi-hat in. So, um, just to show you some of the editing functions here, I've got cut, delete, insert, backspace, select all tracks, select beginning, select end, copy, paste, page up and page down. So I'll start here, page up and page down, or obviously uh, page up and page down. Um, so I'll select a small portion here. I can either select all, which selects everything, select the track, or I can select the beginning and manually select the ending here. So. For instance, I can copy and paste that. And so that's basically how that all works. Backspace. Um, here I already explained step. I can also um, uh, transpose. So this will actually change the drum sound since it's a kit, but uh, if it was an instrument, it would change the note. Also by octave. Basically, uh, the way you can add uh, effects, uh, I have them all listed up here uh, as a, like, a little cheat sheet, but for instance, like a re-trigger. Uh, when you're in this column, it'll, these are also set to zero through F for hexadecimal input, which is what uh, Sunbox uses. So, effect 19 is a re-trigger.
these, um, basically, uh, any of these knobs up here can be, uh, assigned to any of these, so for instance, 